गाइस थोड़ा पोपन टाइप्स हो गया वी थॉट दिस वुड बी लाइक वन ऑफ द हाइलाइट्स ऑफ दिस ट्रिप टू द माउंटेन्स Look who's back! Sorry, we've been gone for so long, but if you follow us on Instagram, तो आपको पता है I had an eye surgery, and with Dad's health hasn't been the best. But we've decided this year that even if we make like imperfect vlogs, we're going to make them. Today we are flying to Georgia, and you're coming with us. Although it's a nightmare to be up at this hour, but. The airport is so so empty, and it's a pleasant surprise to be here at this time. Actually, has a CD. It's the greatest legends of rock. It's actually rather nice. Great I mean, a songs. lot of my favorites. Hello, it's been a while since we last spoke. Basically, we landed at the airport quickly, got some currency, um, picked up a SIM card, and then rented our car. Uh, we actually had very good. Got a local company here, based in Georgia, on TripAdvisor and Google. So we ended up picking the car from them. It costs around fifty dollars a day, and uh, because we've taken a four by four, we plan to go to the mountains. So who knows? We might do some off roading. This monastery with a view of Tbilisi is some a place that you have to have to come to, no matter what else you do. Check out this view. It's it's funny when you travel to a new country, you're a little apprehensive. So we were kind of lost, and we saw these two men standing, and we asked that, "Oh, can we park the car here and walk up?" They said, "Oh, yeah, that's fine." but why don't you follow us and we'll take you to the monastery so it's like either you run away at that time or you just take that leap of faith and you know we followed them who are guys they took like a detour of 3 4 kilometers i think to bring us to this monastery and then they just gave us a fist bump and left and said have a great evening right now cuz we are in the wine district of georgia and this is a place that you must come to if you're here for a road trip you're not going to believe the view from here definitely recommend parking your car and coming for a little walk this is a quaint little place carpets and same and lots and lots of locals you can park right here and just walk around By the way, you guys, if you are driving, then I'd suggest coming to this restaurant. It's called the Terrace, and it has a beautiful view. Uh, most tours don't stop here, so I don't think you can do that if you're on a tour. Let's go inside. Sometimes the most random pit stops turn into something more stunning. Fun fact: This city is actually known as the city of love, and much like LA, here you can get married 24/7. It's something we just found out, and a lot of Georgians come here to get married. How cool is that? Hey 
Hi guys, hope you are enjoying the vlog so far. Uh, today we are driving from Tbilisi to uh, Kasbegi. It's full of beautiful panoramas. I think the road is going to be beautiful. The weather looks great. Uh, lots of clouds on the mountains. So let's go. Although if you do rent a car in Tbilisi, then you are definitely not going to miss the driving from uh, India because here there is also wow, 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 like that. So you will feel right at home. There is a car. Look at this parking. The view. The clouds. It's so friggin' cold. But so pretty. It's supposed to be one of the prettiest pit stops on the way, but it's raining a lot today. But I do, I do love uh, this weather as well because look at look at the yeah, the, the clouds. clouds. It's so beautiful. It's I think nice. if it stops raining for a bit, it can make for a beautiful sight. Still look how does. beautiful this is. These dry views right now are absolutely stunning. something crazy uh, we've been passing already right yeah i think i think there's like been a cloud burst or something it's just flooded everywhere because it didn't rain that much so i don't know uh, why there's some or maybe it's the city's uh, uh, poor drainage system but yeah it's... weren't expecting this but let's see how it goes we're just waiting for these cars and then we'll try navigating the waters quite literally Reminds you of Spiti, right? Yeah. <laughs> Panoramas like Spiti. Roads also like Spiti. Well, this is where the four wheel drive is coming handy. Guys, thoda pooper types ho gaya. We thought this would be like one of the highlights of this trip to the mountains to Kasbegi but it's cold and it's raining so and much that we, and it's so windy we got out for like two minutes and then quickly came back to the car I'm so disappointed after braving that stormy condition and those treacherous roads I think it's time to have some local food in a place recommended by a local on our way to Kasbegi, we have a pit stop here. Let's go check it out. We've decided to have Kinkali, which is basically like dumplings. We probably have one of each or something, let's see. And uh, also the kacha puri, which is basically like a pizza, cheesy, cheesy bread. That's what we are having. Our Kinkali is here. So these are actually handmade. And they are so good. They're filled with like meats and vegetables and juices, and you don't really need anything with them. It's basically bread, there's spinach and cheese stuffed inside, and it's the perfect food for a cold, rainy day like today. I'm loving it. only fair to wish good morning with that view we're going to explore Kasvegi there's lots and lots to do here we all bundled up because it's freezing and we are off exploring okay let me give you a little room tour mountain doggo and oh, then doggo. <laughs> and this is a little living room slash kitchen sort of situation and this is the bedroom it's not very big but look at this view Wow. Is that a monastery on the top of it? Yeah, that's the Gregor Trinity Church. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. 
sorry got carried away by the view here we view there <laughs> but um, that's the toilet nice and clean and then on the other side as well you can see the mountains and we also have these two chairs and a barbecue in case we want to do that sometime this evening so we paid around 5500 rupees for a night for the place that we are staying in but these these right here were completely booked out on the days that we had to be here but if you're coming i would recommend staying in these because as you can tell they have a better view fewer kind of hindrances and they're also better equipped i'll show them from the front as well i'll leave a link for it in the description bar if i can find it on like a booking website or something <music> on a random hilltop trying to get the drone going to capture these panoramas it's quite cold and windy so we still don't know whether we'll be able to but if we can we're going to insert the footage right here because it's so beautiful saw Kasbegi yesterday when it was all rainy and there were so many clouds but it's so sunny this morning so we are going to see a completely different side let's go exploring remember seeing these last evening look how different everything looks you can actually see the um, mountains and everything but tell me pause this right now and tell me did you prefer the rain and the clouds or do you like it now the key attraction here in this region is the uh, Gergeti Trinity Church. It sits on top of a mountain. Now, a few years ago, you could either trek there or take a 4x4 with a local, which was a little expensive and also they would just give you 20 minutes there. But now there is a road uh, where you can drive and you don't need to have a 4x4 and uh, it's a beautiful drive as well. So, yes, makes it much easier. Ironically, the village that we're going to is called Juta. <laughs> if you know, you know. I'm telling with this is a premonition, but no, he's not gonna stop. <laughs> hey, uh, if there are people living there, then that means that we should try to go there. We have a four or whether we'll see Juta. <laughs> <laughs> no, we will see it's there. It's such a beautiful village. Oh my god, look at that. Luckily, we've reached the village. It is actually quite beautiful and we can't go further because there's actually a landslide of some sort here. So, so I think, I think even, completely blocked. Yeah, even the villagers have parked their cars before this point. So well, at least we got to see this beautiful village. Judah village! <laughs> So this is where we are parked now, we can't go any further, but we thought we'd go for a little hike here, look how beautiful this is. I just love these adventures, I mean look at this. is probably not what you see on Instagram but it's all a mess right now but we're going to pack and get going. And 
just like that we finished exploring our 97th country together we tried lots of new foods made lots of new friends and saw so many incredible sights do leave us a comment if you enjoyed watching this video so we can make more travel vlogs for you